Hey, cool dude. It's good to see you. How was your weekend? Hey, Andy Math. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I had a nice weekend. Party girl weekend. It was fun. I looked at challenges 30, 31, and 32. Cool. cool yeah, cool. we can talk about those. Cool. Yeah, I have a solution for 30. I have it written down right here. Okay, I'll try it out. Y equals X plus seven. And then the thing you call squiggle marks, Y is greater than three. Okay, I see what you're doing there. And then the next one is Y is equal to negative one third X. The squiggle marks again, Y is greater than negative one. You can see what I'm doing there, can you? Yeah. I see. And the last one is Y is equal to X minus 7.5. And that's it. All right. Let's hit launch. So if you hit launch. Boom. Yep. And it works. Nice. Cool. Good job. I don't know how you could possibly do this with only one equation. So I came up with it with just one. You figured it out. Yeah. I okay. Sure. It out. Yeah. Okay, show me. Sure. First, I used a cubic. So you think of y equals x cubed. That's shaped like that. And if you do some adjustments to it, like x squared oh, wow. plus wow. x plus one or something. So you can start getting shapes like this, where you can see it's curving around. And then if you swap the x's and the y's, I changed all the x's to y's and all the y's to x's. Now you get a shape like this. And then after some fine tuning, you can get it to line up perfectly. And so there's mine right there. And you can see how that's spinning around there. So now I'll turn yours off that's so cool. we can see it clearer. And then I just need to put some holes in here. If I hit launch here, obviously it's going to miss. But if I nice. put a hole right here and then right here, it'll hit all those. So then I'm going to plug in a parabola. Y is less than X squared. And then I want to move that parabola over and yeah, up. In order to move it to the left, I'm going to say plus two, plus one. four. And then to move it up, I'm going to put parentheses around the Y and say minus two. That looks perfect. So now when I put some squiggle marks right here, when I paste this into those squiggle marks, everything that's purple will still be there and everything that's in the white will disappear. So I'm going to plug this in there. And now you can see I just took a bite out of that right there. So now when I launch it, it'll go into there. And I just need to do one more hole over here. So I'll do another parabola, y is less than x squared, put my parentheses in there. So I just want to go to the right and then down, move it one more to the right, and that might do it right there. So I'm going to give this one another squiggle bracket, and this is going to go inside of this. There. And now it's going to cut that hole right here. So now if I hit launch, oh, wow. is it going to work? Dude, Andy math. Good job. And that was it. So that's how it's done with one equation. So stick around for 31, 32. Give me one second. I'm going to end this video and then we'll start number 31. And for people watching this, just check out the playlist for 31 and 32. Yeah, I'll see you in a sec.